The film shows an American soldier imprisoned in Japan. His name is Nick. He is tasked with cleaning the prison area. Not long after, a Yakuza member emerges from a room and one of them glares at him. Then Nick enters the room and sees a Yakuza member almost killed by being hanged with his hands tied. Nick tries to help the Yakuza and shouts for the guards. Instead of receiving praise from the wardens, Nick is beaten and tortured by the wardens there. They claim it's because they found a letter written by the Yakuza to be sent outside the prison. On the other hand, Nick, who doesn't understand Japanese, has to endure the bitterness of isolation. In the isolation room, the Yakuza introduces himself as Kiyoshi. Here, Kiyoshi asks for Nick's help to plan his escape from the prison. The plan is that he will attempt suicide and be taken to the hospital. When he is in the hospital, his brother will come to help him, and Nick is guaranteed freedom when he escapes. The scene shifts to the prisoners working to increase the natural resources. Moving to the bathroom, it shows the Yakuza who previously intended to kill Kiyoshi. Switching back to Nick in the isolation room, Nick and Kiyoshi begin to execute their plan using a sharpened piece of metal. Kiyoshi starts cutting his stomach and tells Nick to watch him to keep him alive and call the guards there. In short, Nick can breathe fresh air as he is free. A car arrives to pick him up, sent by Kiyoshi, set in Osaka in 1954. Kiyoshi and the large Yakuza family gather there. They named their large family Shiramatsu and thank Nick for helping Kiyoshi while in the cell. They also offer Nick a job with their business and other Americans. Nick accepts the offer. Then Nick is taken to a gambling place and given money to rent lodging there. In that place, he meets a very beautiful Japanese woman selling drinks. Because she is beautiful, Nick gives the woman extra money. On his first assignment, Nick is escorted by Kiyoshi and the driver. That day, they go to a factory where an American is the boss, and Nick is tasked with negotiating with the Yakuza. The factory boss understands Nick's intent well. However, with his principal, the factory boss will not sell the metal at the low price the Yakuza wants. Hearing the boss's answer, Nick doesn't hesitate to hit him. Next, Nick, Kiyoshi, and the other Yakuza members gather at a nightclub. They're having a good time drinking and laughing, but suddenly another Yakuza group named Seizu, their rivals from Kobe, arrive. They seem to be fighting over the American-owned factory managed by Nick. Their leader then insults Nick. Provoked, Nick hits him with a glass, almost causing a Yakuza brawl. But they eventually retreat. Elsewhere, Kiyoshi gives Nick a place to stay and invites him to officially join the Yakuza. At a small gambling den, Kiyoshi and Nick arrive. The owner of this gambling den, a large man named Kimura, has made a mistake by taking over this place. When he insults Nick, Nick punches him in the throat. Kiyoshi, being much more ruthless, then slits the man's throat. They then take a wad of cash from the place. At a nightclub, Kiyoshi's beautiful sister is enjoying a dance. Kiyoshi, noticing his sister there, pulls her away and asks her to go home, worried that the rival Yakuza will come and bring weapons. Nick is tasked with escorting Kiyoshi's sister, Miyu. It seems that Miyu and Nick like each other. When they arrive home, Nick initially plans to leave, but Miyu invites him in. Nick agrees, and they end up making love. Next, Nick meets Kiyoshi and is given a special task, to buy weapons from the American military. But the American soldiers must not know that Shiramatsu is involved. Therefore, Kiyoshi asks Nick to work alone. However, the consequence is if the transaction fails, Nick alone will bear the risk. The scene shifts to a dock. Nick hides the money in the engine compartment. It turns out there is a traitor. When Nick arrives, he sees a corpse and the Seizu member whom Nick hit with a bottle at the nightclub appears. They plan to take the weapons and rob the money Nick brought. Not finding the money, they order their men to kill Nick. But as they are about to shoot, with his skills as a former American soldier, Nick manages to disable them and kills two Seizu members. The next day, at a major meeting with Shiromatsu's leader, who is also Kiyoshi's adoptive father, it is revealed that there is a traitor among them who leaked this mission, and the person has not been found yet. However, Nick and Kiyoshi are still considered guilty. The pride of a Yakuza is shown here when one makes a mistake. Cutting off a finger is a way to show loyalty to the Yakuza. Nick has to sacrifice two of his fingers. Kiyoshi then did the same thing as Nick, but Orochi does not. He does not want to cut his finger. 
The Shiromatsu family envoy then comes and gives Nick and Kiyoshi's severed fingers to the Seizu leader. Then from the conversation between Nick and the Shiromatsu leader, it was revealed that there was a Seizu member hiding within the Shiromatsu family. Nick, who was considered a stranded foreigner with no family, received the honor of officially becoming part of the Shiromatsu Yakuza family due to his dedication and honesty. That night, during a drinking event, Kiyoshi and Nick talked about his sister Miyu, who was close to Nick. Kiyoshi expressed his wish that he didn't want his sister to marry a Yakuza because he understood the consequences. Yakuza members could be killed at any time. However, Nick tried to convince him that he could protect and take care of his sister. Then Kiyoshi congratulated Nick on joining the Shiromatsu Yakuza family. Next, Nick, who had officially become part of the Yakuza family, accompanied by Miyu, got tattoos all over his body. After getting tattooed, they had sex again. Nick lived his daily life as a Yakuza. On a train with Miyu, he met Seizu members who had previously almost killed him at the dock. The scene changed. Seizu sent their underlings and a foreigner for a business deal. But according to the Shiromatsu leader, this was an insult as they only sent young underlings without their boss coming directly to Shiromatsu's place. Orochi said this was a good opportunity to accept Seizu's offer, but his leader had the principle of not wanting to be controlled by members of other Yakuza clans. In a drunken state, Orochi looked disappointed because his boss didn't want to follow his suggestion. Kiyoshi warned Orochi, and even when Orochi walked home, the Shiromatsu leader didn't want to meet him. Angry and disappointed, Orochi went to Miyu and almost raped her. During a sumo match, the Seizu leader and the Shiromatsu leader met. The Shiromatsu leader felt disrespected because Seizu only sent their deputy for the negotiation. The Seizu leader offered him and his group retirement because they were quite old. Of course, the Shiromatsu leader didn't accept the offer because for him and his father's generation, they were wolves, not dogs kept behind fences. When walking back to his headquarters, Nick met his fellow former American soldier who was on leave. His name was Polly. Reluctantly, Nick accepted his friend's invitation to drink first, under the threat that he would report him to a military court. Next, Nick took Polly to his residence and gave Polly a drink. Nick then killed his friend because he didn't want Polly to reveal anything. Later, when Nick returned to Miyu's house, he found Miyu's face already injured. Nick forced her to tell him who did this. Miyu, not wanting to say, just said that she was pregnant with Nick's child. Nick, being a real man, stayed faithful and didn't want to leave her. After that, Nick went to see Miyu's brother, Kiyoshi. Nick told him about Miyu's pregnancy and that he would bear the consequences. Kiyoshi, who already considered Nick as his brother, then invited him in. Then Kiyoshi took out two katanas, Daisho, inherited from their father, one for killing and the other for suicide. Kiyoshi had taken care of his sister since she was little. Now it was time for Nick to take care of her and take the katana. Then Nick made a final request to Kiyoshi. His request was to bury Polly. Elsewhere at the Seizu headquarters, it was revealed that the traitor in Shiromatsu was actually Orochi. He met with Seizu's leader to plan evil things against Shiromatsu. The next day, Kiyoshi escorted the Shiromatsu leader to the suit shop. In the fitting room, Nick, who was puzzled because the Shiromatsu leader hadn't come out, checked on him. It turned out the Shiromatsu leader was almost killed by someone. Then Kiyoshi shot the perpetrator and took the leader to the car. As they were leaving, Yakuza from Seizu shot Kiyoshi to death. Luckily, Nick and the leader survived. At the Shiromatsu headquarters, several names were mentioned among them. There were five Shiromatsu members who betrayed. These five members had joined Seizu. Miyu, knowing Kiyoshi had died, cried hysterically and a revenge mission began. Slowly, one by one, the Seizu leaders were killed. Because of these murders, Seizu sent a little boy to deliver a message to the Shiromatsu leader. Seizu requested a meeting at a dock without weapons to end the war. The very manly and gentlemanly attitude was shown by Shiromatsu and his men to attend the Seizu group's invitation without weapons. Next, the leader and his men appeared. They pointed to the face of the traitor, Orochi, who was already considered a son by the Shiromatsu leader, and embraced him. The Shiromatsu leader asked Orochi to return to Shiromatsu before it was too late. Suddenly, Orochi took out a knife and stabbed the Shiromatsu leader. Nick and the other Shiromatsu members tried to save the leader, 
but they were blocked by Orochi's men who were actually carrying weapons. Orochi arrogantly forgave Nick and said that now it was over and he had to leave and leave Miyu. Nick, who tried to chase Orochi, was shot in the leg. Next, the police were seen destroying the Shiromatsu headquarters. Nick, who sneaked into Miyu's house, saw the Seizu group already guarding Miyu's house. Nick then asked Miyu to leave the place. The next day, Nick appeared to call his driver. Then he walked to the Seizu headquarters carrying the katana given by Kiyoshi. With his bravery and strong mentality, he came and wanted to invite Orochi to fight. But here Orochi refused and returned the katana to Nick. Without delay, Nick then slashed Orochi's neck. Seizu ordered his men to hold their fire, and Nick quickly left. Upon arriving at a place, Miyu and the remaining Shiramatsu members were seen protecting Miyu. Nick, who had successfully killed Orochi, was given respect by the Shiramatsu members, which meant that Nick was now appointed as the new leader of the Shiramatsu Yakuza. The film ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.